Fire away, sir. Welcome to the world's only floating postal code. And away we go. When cargo ships from around the globe travel the Great Lakes, this boat brings mail and a lifeline. We'll be coming alongside here in just a few minutes for you, if that's all right. That'll be fine. And they don't even have to stop. Somewhere between Detroit and Windsor, Canada, a makeshift mailbox plunges down the freighter's side. How are we doing, guys? And returns with the daily post. There we go. In an instant, it's over. Good to go. All clear on your port side. April through December, if you're on an international freighter going down the Detroit River, this is the only way to get your mail. And while every other postal code in the U.S. is fixed, zip code 48222 goes wherever this boat goes. This is uh, Captain J.W. Westcott. In 1874, Jim Hogan's great-grandfather started using a rowboat to ferry messages, supplies, and later mail to passing ships. A century later, the fourth generation owner got the call. Dad found an opening in the middle of that summer and said, hey, I need you this afternoon. One thing led to another, and here I am 44 years later. So the importance of continuing it in the family is, is what really makes sense to me now. There is no business quite like it. Throughout the world in, in major ports, there are boats who do deliveries to ships. But the Westcott is the only one of its kind that is specifically a, a extension of the U.S. Post Office. It's got its own zip code, it's its own boat, and frankly, knowing the crew, they're, they're pretty unique too. The company has delivered everything from pizza to a donkey. This ship sank during a stormy delivery in 2001, killing two crew members. Now, the family business is expanding. We're delivering groceries to some of the ships that go by, and also would like to get a few other boats to do some other, like, charter things if possible just in time for the fifth generation. Watch your ears. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Detroit.